Okay, let's get mapping. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to start off in our top right window here. And we're going to do 0, 0 on the coordinates. And we're going to drag with our left mouse button, click and drag right the way across to 512. Now the reason we're doing that is because we're going to make sure our room is 512 by 512. So it should be a perfect cube. And uh, well, almost, you know, we're not going to go into detail because... It could take forever. So let's just make sure that in all of our windows, we've got it on the zero line all the way over to 512. And we'll see a nice big block like this. Now, this block, if we wanted to build inside it, we'd go in and, you know, we couldn't actually see anything because the block is solid. It's a complete solid block. And if we want to build inside it, we've got to hollow it out. So to do this, we've got a very simple way we make sure that our brush is selected by pressing shift and click and then we click this hollow button up at the top now it deselects everything and we can fly inside whoa <laughs> we can fly inside this very discotheque looking room now we want to do some textures because you know you couldn't really play in this it would be really really strange so what we'll do is we'll do the ceiling first now what we do is we can select faces of the brush itself. So we can control, shift, and then click, and that will select only this face. Now if I go outside, you can see that this face is not selected because it's not red, and this one is. Now you see the little blue dot in the middle? That denotes that there's a face selected. So you can see this from both sides of the brush. So it tells you that there's one face selected, and we go through and we can find it there it's a red one now uh, we can press T on the keyboard to bring up the texture browser and then we can choose any type of texture that we want to make our ceiling uh, contain so we'll do it for the bricks so the ceiling is made of them bricks which look cool now we'll do the same for the floor uh, control shift click and we'll press T to bring up our texture window and we'll do uh, this ground one, cracked ground. It looks very cool. There we go. Now let's, uh, we'll do some walls, shall we? So again, control shift click, just going around, selecting the entire bounds of the wall. I will press T and then we can choose a texture from there. So let's just go for trim. So we've got all these hieroglyphics. Very, very nice. Now, um, this video is mainly going to concentrate on the, the, the surface inspector. I've just shown you the texture browser there very quickly. It's pretty simple to use. There'll be a very short video on the texture browser shortly. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is show you the surface inspector. Now you can see that all of these textures line up pretty nice, you know, nice horizontal lines going right the way around. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this texture here a lot bigger than the rest of them and we'll do that over on the other side as well so we, we select the face by doing control shift and click then we'll press the S key to bring up the surface inspector now there's various different surface flags you can set uh, if you choose the light one that will make that brush emit light we can set slick so which is very useful for let's say a patch of ice on the floor that players will sort of slide over very quick We've got Sky, which we will actually do a whole video on Sky Brushes a little bit later on. We've got Warp, which will be used on uh, basically any texture that you want to warp in a strange way, maybe water and, and things like that. We've got our Transparency 33 and 66 flags, which we can set. These are used for semi-transparent uh, objects and brush textures, which basically if a brush texture has a certain alpha channel, you can set it so that it's see-through. We've got flow, which will actually animate the texture to flow in a certain direction. And we've got no draw and a couple of others. They're the main ones you need to know about, the light to flow. We've got hint, skip and no draw, but don't worry about them so much right now. We also have down in the bottom, we have content flags. So we can set lava, slime, water. Now lava and slime will actually uh, cause the player pain. Water will... Uh, just allow the player to swim through the water and mist means the player can see the brush but they'll be able to walk through it uh, it's like uh, you can do that with wires you'll set a certain couple of 
of transparency flags 33 and 66 and the mist flag and it will just show the wires hanging from the ceiling etc but what we're going to do now is we're going to look right up here at the top in our shifting panel now we can horizontally and vertically shift these textures as you can see I'm doing now and they actually accept keyboard input as well so we can put 0 0 to get it back to normal now we can also stretch the textures I'm going up in 1.5 in steps over here you can change the step if you wish but I'm going to put it to 0.5 like so 1.5 and you can see that the textures no longer line up but they're you know they're a lot bigger and we can do that exactly the same on the other side one click there and one click there and it's exactly the same as that side and these sides are exactly the same as each other as well so that is uh, a quick look at the surface inspector now we're going to go through uh, adding light in fact we'll do that now while we've got some time because it's not very complicated but let's say uh, let's set that with a nice light texture okay let's say we wanted them to emit light into the level so we can see well we simply control shift click and set the light flag and give it a value let's say 50 now that will uh, put a 50 value light out into the map itself but if you had a, a weapon placed on the ground down here or a weapon placed anywhere under something like this that was emitting light it would not light the weapon or any models the weapons and models would be completely black they'd be dark because there's no entity light to light it to create a light entity we can right click within the map and choose light and we'll give it a value of uh, 500 we'll just leave it default for now we're not building a proper map here now this light here this light entity will multiply with that light so if you've got that as 50 and this is 500 effectively you will see 550 light however the weapons will see 500 that other 50 that we set up in this surface up here won't be displayed on models or uh, weapons or players or anything like that so you need light entities within the map every now and again but wherever you, you don't overload on these you know try and use the brush light and the entity light in balance throughout the level and of course we can set color on these lights by selecting them and pressing the K button and that will allow us to set the light to a, a set color and to create any sort of spotlight effect you simply select the light and drag it as close to the texture as possible without going outside the world so that will create what looks like a spotlight effect um, just to direct give it a bit more direction you can't target light in alien arena as far as i'm aware so you know that's the best way to go about doing it right in the next video we're going to look a little bit more into building maps and using some of the tools that we've learned here thanks for watching